Today's topic is going to be field mitered offsets. I will be demonstrating three different ways of making one of these offsets. The first one is going to be the squaring off method. In this method, I need to know the offset length, 26, and the amount of offset, 7. For this demonstration, I have chosen a panel of metal, which represents a piece of duct. Here you see me marking 26 long, 7 inches offset. On a job site, you will always find an area where there are perpendicular lines. So go to this area and position your ductwork in the same manner of length and offset required. Once you have that, draw your lines to create your miter lines. I am now going to cut these miter lines as if it was a piece of duct. And once you have finished your cut, double check to see if you have the right length and the right up amount of offset. Here you see I got a seven inch offset and the ductwork would be 26 inches long. So now let's go see how this piece of duct fits into my mock-up. You will probably notice that I did not add anything for the connector. And if you were on the job site, you would have to allow for that. My next method is what I call the diagonal method. Again, we will need to find how much cutoff or miter is required. In this one, I need to measure what my diagonal length is. And here it says 27. So on my duct, Mark 27 inches. Once you have found your 27 inches, draw a diagonal line on the side of the duct that you wish to offset. In this case, I am offsetting on the 10 inch width side. Here, I am marking the amount of offset, which was seven inches required. With a square, square up to your diagonal line. This distance will become your miter distance. M equals two and five eighths. Now on one end, I am going to remove 2 and 5 eighths. The other end, I will add 2 and 5 eighths. These are my miter lines, and I must cut them out.
Again, this is the ductwork. It is now cut. Let's go try it on the mock-up. The last method is called the OWL method, where we will be using a formula to find the miter allowance. Again, in this method, I would measure from corner to corner on my ductwork that's installed on the job site. And nothing changed, we still have that same 27. I would write my formula down if needed, if not, just go ahead and punch in your numbers. Offset times width divided by the length will give you the amount of miter. Two point five nine is your answer, which is two and five eighths. All I'm doing here is squaring a line up from my 27 inch in length. I will add two and five eighths here. And remove two and five eighths on this end. Draw your miter lines. And now let's remove those cuts. There you have it. Three different ways of creating a mitered offset. You go ahead, choose the one that you prefer, as long as the job gets done.